Hey! Um, hello again, welcome back for another round of reviewing. Glad you're here, glad you wanted to join the party today. Um, you surely didn't have to, so I appreciate you being here and watching. I don't know if I should just be like, hey, if you don't know who I am, because I think like, if you're watching, you probably know who I am, but I'm Hannah. Hannah Hobson if you don't know but I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like nobody here that doesn't not know who I am um, but anyways I'm Hannah and uh, I review fashion even though I still look like a piece of shit all the time um, so yeah I'm Hannah and this is my co-star the doorknob um, I feel like this is just a vital presence to all of my videos and at this point it's a guest star so I know a lot of people are probably like please get the door knob out of the picture but this is my this is my studio in front of my bedroom door so my door knob is just part of the narrative here so <laughs> um, yeah but yeah I hope things are going well for everybody Things are still doing pretty okay over here. Um, I wanted to wear my new earrings because I got them in the mail today and I was too excited to not wear them. And then I was like, you know what? I've got like a spring vibe going. So I did like some pink eye makeup that I hope doesn't make it look like I have red eye because my hair is supposed to be pink, but honestly, it really never reads pink to me. At this point, I'm kind of over it, but at this point, <laughs> who am I seeing? Nobody. So, it doesn't really matter to me. And once I get back into the salon, like, we'll, I may do something different. Um, I tend to I'll change my hair a lot. So, I may, once we are able to go back into the salons, I may either go pinker or just go back to being blonde again. I never, I sometimes, I don't even know until I sit down in the chair. So, it's always a mystery. Yeah, so, yeah, other than that, I've just been watching a little Married at First Sight, watching a little Making the Cut, watching a little Naruto, um, watching a little Project Runway here and there, and just doing that. That's kind of how <laughs> life has been going for me these quarantine days I'm trying to think if there's anything else like I don't really have anything else that's really been like new or updated because even outside of quarantine I have a pretty boring life um I, I guess even other than that like I'm trying to get myself back into learning French again so um if you know anybody who wants to speak French with me, let me know. Um, because I don't know anybody, especially in Indiana, I don't know anybody who's, who speaks French, um, who I can talk to. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, I guess, like another update. But yeah, um, so today we're going to be reviewing a brand their name is Area. It's kind of it's kind of hard to search because I'm sure Google is just like Area. What are you talking about? But um, these designers, um, it's a, a pair that have created the brand Area. But um, these designers are new to me. I think it's maybe kind of evident that I am not really reviewing brands or designers that are super well known, mostly because some of them are a little problematic. Who I really want to have this platform be a place where I can show that there is a wide array of people out there that have that have wild, inventive imaginations, creativity, and that there's just a lot of options and a lot of art, even you could say, that we get to explore. Um, but yeah, so this brand is called Area and so they are really well known for super out of the box looks. This is my first dive into this brand, so I haven't looked at any 
previous collections, previous seasons. This one here I am really excited about. I watched the runway show once and I was... <laughs> A lot of my face, I'm pretty sure when I was watching it, was had giant question marks. But I left it really loving a lot of different pieces in this. And then at the end of it, I kind of loved it as a whole collection. If the, the fashion that you enjoy is very... If you don't necessarily love out-of-the-box fashion, this collection may not be for you. I, however, I love very classic looks, but I love shit that's out-of-the-box and really something to think about. When I was reading a little bit about this collection, I it kind of confirmed what I got from it whenever I was watching it. Usually in collections there's kind of a narrative, a kind of a theme, and this one has not much of one. And I think that's what I like the most about it is because it's it's so unconventional. Like so many brands usually have like a common element that kind of just is cohesive amongst the collection. And the two designers in area decided to pull from different things that inspired them. And these things are very unrelated to one another. Just a few of the reference points that were mentioned in an article I read about this collection were Japanese tropical postcards that the two designers found in France, um, some pleating and dra draping from a very famous um, designer, leather costumes from Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula, and Romeo Gigli's heart motifs. So they don't have a lot to do with each other. And in a way, you can see that in the collection, but then in another way, it kind of all comes together and you're like, it's just something you've never seen before and I've watched a decent amount of fashion shows and I don't think I've ever seen a fashion show that pulled from so many different things and looked so completely different and yet all the pieces in a way kind of looked like they were supposed to all be together. It it's quite a it's quite a collection and I'm really excited to talk about it because again I've just never seen anything like this. So that being said, I will stop talking and we will start. I know I said that I'd stop talking, but another thing apparently they're really well known for in their seam lines, they use crystals to accent the seam lines. And it's not in every piece of the collection. It's definitely, it's a, it's a signature for this brand. Okay, so this first look, I, it, it definitely took my breath away. I am obsessed with this vest. I've never seen something like that and I could see a lot of really trendy, cool people wearing this for fashion weeks. The super cool braiding and it's all sparkly crystals is just super cool. The pants look so beautiful to me and I, I don't think I've seen seam lines accented like that with crystals but at this point now I'm like I want to see that in every pant. I really like this look a lot. It's It looks really futuristic but it also looks really current too. This next, I know we are two looks in, but this one here is probably a contender for one of my favorite looks. I adore that fringe skirt and I love how the fringe and the skirt is all pulled together, like the peplum part at the waist and it's accented in that beautiful like crystal curve. And the top of the, like the bodice and the pleating, it just looks like it looks so natural. But I know that there that is so much work to get like the pleating and the ruching right. And not that I can do it, not that I can do it well, but I understand and appreciate the work that goes into that. And it is so beautiful. Gosh, really like that. This next sweater dress. This is another one that I really feel like I can see really trendy fashion influencers wearing. Um, I mean this whole entire look down to the, the almost kneeling boots but I love the colors in these and I love the crystal detailing in the seam lines like near the collar and on the arms. I think that is so beautiful. Just like takes um, a cozy sweater dress and like makes it so fancy. I love it. 
this next one i i'm not gonna say that i love it i think it's interesting that is for sure but it's not one that i am i'm d dying over uh i really think the pants are super well made i think that the um that tropical shirt that's part of the reference to the postcards i think it's really cool and i read that this fabric it was custom made for them i mean that would be really weird to find that kind of fabric in a in joanne's but <laughs> They like had it screen printed onto metal, which I think is really cool. And I'm gonna say the same for this next outfit too. I, I don't love it, but I think it's really interesting. And just knowing a tiny bit of how that could have been made is just beyond me. And I think it's something that I would love to see more used in the future. I think it's really cool. This next one, I really do like a lot. I love the sheen in this like really pretty lime green and I do not like lime green or like a sherbet green maybe but I love that it, it's kind of like a tunic but I, I feel like it's almost kind of like a dress I love like the pleating in the bodice and the cutout of the like between the bottom of the bodice and the hem of the waist of the skirt I really like that detail a lot this next pantsuit this is also one that I don't love it but I don't um, I don't have much to say about it. It's like probably one of the tamer looks in this collection, but it's pink. It has got like a checkered-ish, I guess, print to it and a printed shirt underneath it. It's It doesn't scream for me to like love it. Okay, this next dress is also, I can give or take, like I could do without this one. I think it's really pretty and I can see a lot of people wearing this. It doesn't like beat down doors for me. Like I I, I like the, the shiny like the sparkly aspect to it but that's about it so I'm just gonna move forward. <laughs> this next one here is very very interesting to me. Whenever I saw this look that like the beaded bra let chain something or other reminded me of something like maybe early 2000s Paris Hilton fashion and I don't know if it's because I saw Paris Hilton wearing something like this but maybe I could see her wearing it honestly even now she's a she's somebody who could pull that off but that's kind of what it reminded me of it's really fun but <laughs> It is, it's not, it is for very bold people unlike myself. But I, I just do think it's a lot of fun, like, <laughs> that's all I can really say. This suit, however, I do really like a lot. I like that screen printed look to it. It makes it look really, it's really interesting to look at. Like, I'm not really sure what it reminds me of, but I don't think I've really seen anything like that. And I think that's what I, I like about it the most. This next dress, I think it looks really pretty. I would love to see this on somebody in real life because I, I like it, but I, there's something about it on the runway that I'm just not loving, and I'm, I think I'd want to see it on maybe styled a little bit differently. And I'm not talking the hair. The hair choice is really quite interesting, but I think it's the shoes. I think it's the shoes on this that's really throwing me off. I, I really think I would have liked something not as bulky, but who am I to fucking judge? Okay, <laughs> get prepared for this next look because it's is something else. I I honestly don't know what to say about this one. This is probably one that people would not like at all, and I can understand why. <laughs> It's so out there. I will have to say like I don't love this fabric color. I don't really love the fabric print and all of that being said I don't hate it. I think if the whatever is on the bottom of the if there's like pants or boots or whatever they are if I think if they weren't there I might understand it a little bit better, but um, I don't think the point of this is for really for me or anybody to understand this, but it's something else that is something else. I will have to say um, about this point in me watching this fashion show for the first time where I was really close to being like really out and done. There was a part of me that was about to just turn this off and find a different designer to review so I will say that these next this next look and I think the look after it 
they are they're not of my taste and I will not say that they aren't of somebody else's but they're not my taste and pieces that I would like to see on somebody that's cooler than I am because I think that they could be pulled off I just it's hard for me to see it so this next look I love the shape of this coat and I like the idea of the hoodie underneath with yeah crystal embroidered hood I think that's really cool that shade of brown orange with the gray hoodie I don't hate it but I th there's something about like this pattern that I don't it just doesn't I don't love it and these boot leg warmer things Again, I don't think the point is to understand. I think the point is just to fucking look at it. So that's all I can do and that's all I can say. Yeah, this look is um, about where I was ready to leave. <laughs> but I, I, I will say I really do like the idea of that hoodie underneath, but I would like to actually see it. I think that's another thing is like, I don't, I want to see like the pieces. Okay, friends. So this, <laughs> this dress is also part of that club of, I don't fucking know. <laughs> that being said, I do love like that heart shape. I think this is that reference to the um, giggly. I think I pronounced that wrong probably, but it definitely reads like Area 51 Invasion. Um, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. Um, it is very artistic. It is not to, like, I don't think necessarily to be worn. I think this is more of like an art piece. I know somebody could wear it and I think it would be fun to see somebody wear it, but, um, it wouldn't be me. But, I mean, to say it's not, to say it's not interesting would be wrong. And I, I, I think if, if anything, it's the, the pant situation. It's not even, I don't even think they're pants. I think that's what's really, I'm struggling. Um, this next dress, I, this is where I, for me, I started to like get reeled back in. I do enjoy this little black dress with the braided sequin, sequin neckline the strapless part, whatever. I do think that's really pretty. It's not one of my favorites, but I, I I did start to get like, okay, we're coming back. And I really do like that little chair pur purse. It's so impractical. <laughs> I It's super impractical, but I love, I love that. <laughs> and this next look, I really liked it a lot. I just, I could see this being like worn on stage. That's what I kind of got from it, but it's really interesting, but I, it's really interesting. I, I do like that one. This next one here, I like it. I like the shape of the, the bodice of the suit, but that's about all. Like, I don't have a whole lot of thought to it, but I think the shape of the bodice where, like, the breast, yeah, like, the breast, why does that not sound right? And then it comes down into the V, the lapel. It's it's kind of not a lapel. I mean, it's definitely not a lapel. But it's I don't think I've ever really seen a, a suit jacket look like that. This next one here I think is really sweet. It's cute. I love the little ankle boots on this. And the chevron necklace. I think that's really pretty. On the back, it has a big heart cut out. I think it's pretty. It's not a wow for me, but I don't, I don't dislike it at all. This next one here is, I do actually really like this dress. For not being somebody who enjoys print, this one's really fun. This one really, for being a fall winter show, this dress kind of, to me, reads summer. I could just see some, like, this one kind of being worn in summertime and just being really fun. It's very psychedelic looking. And when she walks, it kind of looks like the swirls kind of moving too. Okay, this next outfit, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't have many thoughts on this one. It's cool. She does look like Ruth Gator Ginsburg. She looks like Ruth Bader Ginsburg to me, and I would love to see her wear this in court. Other than that, um, it's cute. This next one, I like it. 
it's a little cat suit so that's about it and this next outfit is similar to the black one we pretty much just saw but in this herringbone fabric which I think is really pretty I like this look a lot too but seeing as it's very similar to that black one again I don't have a whole lot to say about it but it's I think it's really pretty and I love that I love a voluminous sleeve so this pantsuit coming up is that same fabric, and I think it's that same shaped crystal bodice that we saw a little while ago, but that's a fun pantsuit look. I definitely could not wear that to work. And, okay, so this dress, I think it's almost the same shape as the lime-ish green one, but I guess just in black, so it's cute. Okay, this is where I definitely, it definitely started picking up for me. I love this outfit, aside from that leg stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to be, because when she's walking, the bottom of it's kind of like underneath her foot, so I don't know what it, I just don't know what it's supposed to be. But I love these shorts. This is that, um, I think the leather inspiration from the Dracula movie, and I... And tr I truly would love a pair of those shorts. And paired with this classic white button-up, but with the crystal seam line detailing. I've never seen any white button-down t-shirt look like that before, but it just looks so cool and chic. I really do like that. It could be a contender for one of my favorites. Okay, so this next look here, I am intrigued. I'm intrigued by the shape of this blazer. It's definitely like more of an artistic, trendy take on a blazer. Um, if there's any significance to like why it's cut like that, I, I don't 100% know. Or if there even is supposed to be a reason other than it looks interesting. I do like it though. I don't think I've ever seen Seen anything. It's kind of got a harnessy vibe to it, but it doesn't scream that. I think a lot of what I've been seeing are is that harness trend, either on top of a shirt or whatever it may be. But I, it's kind of what it reads to me. But I could be wrong. Very well could be wrong. But it's definitely like this. We'll see it again. It's not the last time you've seen it, or you will see it. I really like this dress. <laughs> It is so flirty and cute and fun, and I love the braided top to it. I think it's really pretty. It's very glamorous, and I could just see, like, that being a party dress, but for, like, somebody who's cooler than I am, like Nikita Dragon. I could see Nikita Dragon wearing that. Okay, so this sweater dress with pants, that sweater is, you're not crazy. This sweater is the similar, if not the same, but obviously in a different color to the one we saw at the very beginning of the show. The pants are pants. So I'm gonna just let it move on. I do love the color of that though. This dress. This dress is probably a contender for my one of my favorite looks. And I'm even gonna include this hair situation. I love it so much. I love that high shoulder and that it's all really tightly connected where that crystal braided seam is or whatever. And then as it's hanging down on the bodice, it's kind of moving around and it's very flowy. It's just, so, it's so cool. And I love that the shades of blue in it. I think it's really pretty and it's really nothing I've ever seen before. I, I really love that. This next little red dress here, it threw me off when I was first watching this because I didn't know about the Dracula inspiration beforehand and I was like, where is this coming from? Like, what is this? Like, what does it mean? <laughs> but I think this dress is so cute. I think it's so darling. Like, I would love to wear something like that. Okay, this look here, let me tell you. This I actually do like whatever the fuck pull up thigh high leg situation. I love this entire fucking look. Like you have to be a badass to wear that. I don't have, I'm not going to include the video in here, but the, even just the way she's walking, she just, <laughs> she looks like she is feeling it. And I'm feeling it too, girl. I feel it too. I just, that, the detailing and the leather of that, I wouldn't even know that was, was leather. It looks so fluid, but I don't even know how they got that. It's so cool. It looks like veins almost, and I hate veins. 
this next dress, I think it's cute. I really like the, um, that braided. It almost kind of resembles the braids we've seen earlier, but just slightly different. But I do like that little skirt. I like the little thigh high part to it too. I don't, I wouldn't put those colors together, but they also don't not work together either. So, it interesting. Okay, so I actually it was surprised that I liked this next outfit. Um, I like the little chevron detailing against the vertical stripes of this. And I like the colors in it a lot too. I think it's really nice. I feel like this is a really accessible outfit if you had the place to go in that. I don't know. I feel like I could see influencers wearing that to like whatever fucking brunch event they were going to go to. Okay, this coat and hoodie, I I see it here. I really I really like this together. I love this coat with <laughs> the giant collar. I think this is also another of the references to the giggly hearts. And I know I'm saying that wrong, but I can't. Well, I don't know. And I love the hooded. I love the crystal hoodie. And together, that is a it's an interesting outfit. You can't deny that. It's definitely just shapes I've just never seen before. Okay, this is what we're, we've circled back to the cutout blazer. And this is, I don't know what to say about this one. I think it's interesting. I like the fabric a lot, but yeah, I don't know what I have to say about that shape, but other than it's interesting. This look, however, I really do like a lot. Um, I really love this top and it looks like cutouts and it they are cutouts and all the cutouts have crystal border around them. And then the bottom of the shirt is kind of looped through one of the cutouts and I think it is so cool. I really love that top and I would love to have that top. I love the shape of it too and the sleeve is really kind of blousey. I really, really like this next coat too because it's got that same cutout as before, but I love that coat. It looks so nice. And I've never seen a coat that before. I mean, you would not be warm in it, but you would look really good. <laughs> and that's what matters. In the words of Nikita Dragon, a hoe never gets cold. But I really do love these cutouts. I think that they look so unique and interesting. And the same goes for the next dress. <laughs> This little black LBD, like it's really hard to make an LBD look new again and this one looks new again. Like a, a few of the other pieces looked less accessible but this looks really accessible to me. Like I, I honestly think somebody could wear that to work. I mean you'd have to have something underneath it, a slip underneath, but I think you could actually wear that to work. Okay, this next look I actually really like too. I love this chain mail almost looking top with the pants that still have that same cutout underneath and I love the, them together too I feel like in a weird way it looks like a complete look to me but yeah this look it's just it's fun it's interesting okay this next look is it is a very wow moment. Like the all crystal beading or all crystal beaded braiding situation. And it almost kind of looks like a harness. Like I would love to see somebody wear that to an award show. Like Doja Cat. Like Doja Cat could wear that. But I could see somebody like her wearing that. Just really fun and flirtatious. This green dress here, I... As, even though it's a, a completely sparkly dress with fringe, I don't have much to say about it. I think it's really pretty. I think this could be up somebody else's alley. It's just not up my alley. But it's, it's still pretty. Okay, this next dress, I really love it. <laughs> it is like a reinvented Cinderella dress. And it's very similar. Like, I love, I love that really pretty heart shape. And I love this Cinderella blue. It's a little avant-garde but not so avant-garde that you can't really relate to it and I, I like that a lot about it. This next one though is very avant-garde <laughs> and I really <laughs> I really love that. It looks so wild. Even though we won't know for this year of 2020 what the Met Gala theme was going to be or maybe we will find out. I'm not sure. But if I were invited this year for this unknown, unknown Met Gala theme, <laughs> I don't 
really care what the theme would be, this would be the, the outfit that I'd want to wear. It, that is a fucking bold statement if I've ever seen one. And it is so unnecessary. It is so out there. It is so, like, it's the prettiest blue, first and foremost. And then that heart shape, you can't see the body at all. <laughs> but I love it so much. I don't even know if there's armholes on that, but it's just so cute. Oh, I really like that one. And surprisingly, th that blue one isn't the finale dress, but this next one is, so we're almost done. <laughs> this green one here, I I like it a lot. I mean, it's obviously that heart shape that I really like, and I like that they've done in this collection. It, again, ties in that kind of braided, but very ab like abstract braided bodice. So I think it's really pretty. It's I don't I don't love it. And it, for a finale dress, I think that blue one had more of an impact for me, and then it was the green dress. But that being said, I, it's really pretty. And then yeah, that kind of just concludes this review. So I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I enjoyed reviewing this one because I loved a lot of the looks, but this was one where I wasn't like, I love this for every single one of them because I don't necessarily want to review collections that I just like love every single piece. I don't, I think that it is okay for me to not like pieces. Like I think anybody can get what they wanted from this collection. There's a lot of different tastes that are covered, so the things that I might not love, I think another person could. The things that I loved, another person may not like. <laughs> That's probably very, very accurate. But I just, I don't know, this collection's a lot of fun. It's something I've never seen a designer do before, and I think there's just so much creativity to this that I think is a little bit missing from the fashion world from the bits I've seen. I think a lot of it's very, it can get very similar and streamlined. And I like seeing designers step out of that and do their own thing. So I, that's kind of a big reason why I like this collection is because, because like I said, there are going to be things that people might not like. And people might not like some of this stuff now. But some of that, the stuff that people don't like now can be things that people like in the future. And I think a lot of what this brand is doing is that it's kind of creating stuff that future us might really like. Even though we might not see it now, we might be seeing that stuff in the future. But there are things in here that are really interesting and still really cool. So, well, I'll go ahead and conclude my thoughts on that, <laughs> and I'll do my top three. My first favorite is that second look that we saw, was the tan, ruched, maybe pleated bodice with the fringe skirt, that circular-ish skirt. I think that is so stunning, and I've never seen anything like it, but I would love to see that worn, because I think it's just so stunning. I think my second favorite is the all red, kind of dominatrixy outfit that is all leather, and it, it's just, it's just so hot. Like, oh damn, picking my last favorite is going to be hard. Oh, okay. So I think my last favorite, and I might just do an honorable honorable mention. My last favorite is gonna have to be the blue heart, crazy ass, whatever the fuck it is, dress coat, whatever. At the end, it is so out there that I I just I love it for that reason because I like things that. As much as I like things that are accessible, I like things that are also inaccessible and can just kind of be art, a showstopper for sure. So I think that that's my last favorite. And then for honorable mention, the black, like the black silky top with the cutouts and it's got the bottom of the shirt kind of looped in one of the holes. I think that's my honorable mention. But yeah. Well, that's completely it now. Um, thank you again for joining me and watching this review. 
please let me know if there's some looks that you had opinions on, good, bad, or <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, just let me know what you think and hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!